Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here, fresh from the Jordan event. Shout We're out affiliated, Jordan. look at this. <laughs> um, but they did invite us out to LA, uh, where they had the event, uh, hosting the release of the Jordan 33. And here we have it. Uh, here is the bout. Yep. It's a white bout. And it has a lid on it, obviously. But it's not like a flip lid. Yeah. It's a step, you know, separate lid. Jordan logo here, and on the side has like a little tongue. It says engineered for flight. It's a premium box. It's a nice box. It smells good too. Yeah. Ooh, and then we have the juice. Oh, what the? What did I step in? Oh, man. I stepped, I stepped in some shit. Yeah, we uh, we did hoop in these. Yes. Uh, so this is some, our first impressions, of course. This colorway is going to drop. What is this? Yeah, this is kind of what the wax paper is. <laughs> what is this? I don't know. It's a weird oil thing, but anyways, uh, enough of the box. When is this dropping officially? The 10 19. 10 19. Or 18th, I think. And this uh, colorway is called Origins. Yes. Origins of Flight is kind of a whole theme. 175 bucks. They uh, reduced the price by 10 bucks, which is super dope. And they have some crazy tech in here, so. Yes. Good job on them. Let's. Yeah, so let's get it started right off with the traction. Uh, nubs. Nubs? We have lots of nubs. It kind of reminds me of, I guess, like the Kobe AD NXT or just the Kobe AD. Uh, maybe even, even the, the 360, 360 yeah. yeah, a little bit. The, the rubber is pretty damn hard, though. A yeah, lot it of people is. are asking. Uh, it is pretty damn hard. It feels very a lot more durable than 360s. Um, it does. It actually doesn't even move too much when I try to move it with my finger. Yeah. Uh, and the grooves are very deep, so uh, I feel like outdoor use should be pretty good. Yeah. Uh, we did hoop in these. Very good traction. Uh, the, the surface of the court was very weird though. Yeah, it wasn't an outdoor surface. They like laid out a court, but it wasn't wood either. It was like yeah. a weird plastic material. So, um, and it was super dusty there. I don't really trust the traction on that court too much to judge yet. But it was. It I was mean, on the wood though. inside there, and like on the some yeah. like the tile, it was screeching. It was very squeaky and has a good hard stop. Yeah. So. Uh, traction is good, but we'll have to see on an actual wood uh, floor, and of course we're gonna have to see how it is on dust. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, but traction overall, it seems to be pretty good. Moving on to the cushion, we actually saw a dismantled Jordan 33 at the event, which was really really yeah. cool. Um, we'll probably splice in some footage right here, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it, it's a full length phylum. Full length yep. phylon mid, so they had, uh, I think it's called the flight speed, right? Or mm -hmm. flight plate? What, what are they calling it this year? It's a year? flight plate. They, they change it every year. Yeah. <laughs> flight plate? I, let's go with that. Yeah, and it's just a piece of plastic, obviously. Uh, I feel like the flight plate does the unlock zoom as well. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of goes into the four foot zoom, so like it unlocks and locks the zoom. So I feel like it's kind of like how the Jordan 29 and 30 were. So there's a very large volume zoom in in the forefoot and then a uh, smaller hex zoom in in the heel you guys can see it from the outline right here and they're pretty thick yeah they're pretty thick units but the, the hex zoom in in the heel is the diameter is not too big so uh, so far i couldn't really feel much yeah uh, it's pretty stiff overall yeah but uh, we will break it in and we will get some more hours to see if that changes at all. Uh, I don't know what this is though in the back, this little plastic thing. Yeah, they got all these kind of crazy little touches everywhere. This yeah. is like a flex, uh, looks almost like plexiglass or acrylic or something. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, cushion, uh, that's what's going on with cushion. Uh, moving on to the materials. The materials, it's basically like a mesh. A mesh, maybe ballistic nylon. Yeah, but it's like a material. nylon mesh. I, yeah. I really like this yeah. material. It's, it's dope. Bad. Super breathable. Uh, pretty thin, uh, aside from there being an underlay, uh, an underlaying layer underneath that. Yeah. So, but that that top layer is really thin. Really, really thin. You have some touches of uh, synthetic suede um, on the lateral side and also for the heel counter kind of uh, that kind of reminds me of the Jordan 3 design. Yes. Uh, it's probably like the only part of the shoe that reminds me of the Jordan 3, aside from the, cu the cushion. And some of the colorways have elephant print there, which yeah. makes it even more so look like the 3. Yeah, super dope. It says Nike Air on the back uh, with gold stitching. It looks super dope. And you have a strap right here on the medial side. It's a red strap on this. It says Air Jordan 33 design and engineering to the exact, exact specifications for flight. Um, and then you have that pull tab, of course, and you have uh, the, the strings 
and the, the designer said the string was made from a uh, parachute cord. Yeah. So you were like a little skeptical about the durability, like if, is, is it gonna snap and stuff like that, but if it's gonna hold you, you know. You while, hold your parachute yeah. when the wind pulls it out. You're gonna, you're gonna get it. Yeah. Yeah, but. Uh, it's very, very thin though. It's, almost, very, it's unbelievable that it's gonna be strong, but. Yeah, and then on the medial side, you have this kind of like little wing, I would say. Uh, and it's like a synthetic suede type of material. Yeah. And materials overall aren't bad. Yeah. Um, not the most premium. Um, but I think this mesh is really, really nice. Yeah. Um, especially for mesh. But I, I'm a big fan of like the ballistic nylon mesh feel. Yeah. I, I'm just not a big fan of like the synthetic leathers or uh, even if they're not synthetic, you know, this kind of soft suede and... Uh, I'm just not a big fan of leathers and synthetic leathers. Yeah, but uh, materials, they feel nice on foot, and that's really all that matters for performance. Yeah, you have that neoprene uh, underlay. Yeah, and the tongue is really weird as well. Yeah. The tongue uh, is like attached with this little, uh, it's not it's not elastic, it kind of reminds me of like a like a belt, mm -hmm. you know, for a seat belt from your car. And then the tongue is attached to the actual, like, it comes down in the middle right here. So it's attached to an underlying material that goes all the way un un underneath the the, uh, the nylon mesh type of material and goes all the way to the toe uh, for a better one-to-one -one fit with your foot. And overall materials, not the most premium, but I mean, on foot for us, it felt good. Yeah. You know, like a pretty, a very, very thin um, in the toe, but uh, a little thicker in the ankle, but not, not too bad. So yeah. there's that. Moving on to fit. Uh, yeah, you girl, you know, they run a little long. I went down uh, half a size and, and it fits really good. I mean, all Jordans have been running yeah. long lately, so that's what we're doing. I feel like if whatever size you're wearing, 32, you should probably get in this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and it's a little bit narrow. Yeah. Uh, it's going to really be snug on your foot, especially with this lockdown system, which we'll get into. Yeah. Uh, this lacing system is pretty crazy. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, there is an Achilles pillow as well. It's very memory foamy, but it's not really. An Achilles though, it's more like on top. Well, it yeah. is a, like on your Achilles. I guess. It's, it's, you know, a lot of times Achilles pillows are like on the side of your Achilles. Yeah, exactly. This is like actually on your Achilles. But I, I don't really feel it because it's like yeah. more on top. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? that's true. So I, I don't really think it does a lot for lockdown, but there's it's a nice little touch. Let's get into the lacing system, which is very, very interesting. <laughs> So the first thing you do when you put the shoe on, when you first get it, is unstrap the strap. You see on the medial side, unstrap that, and then you loosen it a little bit. You know, that's attached to the tongue right here. So, uh, so you want to get that out of the way, and then you put your, you slide your foot in, and you see this pull tab right here. It's, it's basically elastic, and then, uh, you put your foot in, and on the bottom, it's really cool. It like clicks. You know, that's it looks like the inside of a watch or something. Yeah, it's really cool. So. Once you pull it, you have to pull it kind of hard, but then you guys hear that? It clicks up to like 20 times. It like ratchets tight, yeah. you know, so you can hear the clicking of the gears or whatever exactly. that mechanism is, mechanism is doing. And then it tightens this, uh, pe the, the cord, the, the parachute cord, and it actually tightens over your foot. It's an amazing system for like, lacing up your, your shoes. Like man. crazy. Like yeah. it just cranks on top of your foot. Yeah, exactly. With ease. Very easy. Yeah, you just pull it, you're good to go. It's super easy, very, very fast. And I feel like it's way more innovative than like the, you know, like the LeBron Soldier line with straps. Yeah, you know, and I also like, way more innovative than like the, the NXT. The yeah. AD NXT, yeah. which had that weird lacing system, it just kind of didn't work out. This is actually doing something. You're saving yeah. time, yeah. and you're getting a great lockdown with no laces. Um, and then when you want to loosen it, you literally just pull. It says eject. Yes. It's kind of dope. It's like a eject button. You just pull that, and you're just loose. Yes. Um, however, you do also need to loosen this if you actually want to get out of the shoe. Yeah, yeah, the, the red strap. Yeah, so it's not as just yeah. as simple as this, and then boom, you're out of the shoe. Yeah, but I mean, just two steps. Boom, red strap, and then you pull, and you're good to go. I um, mean, also like when, when when you're playing, you know how sometimes the, shoe, the your laces get loose. Yeah, the shoe loosens up a little bit. It. 
Uh, but this, you just pull it, man. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. I'm not. I don't really know how I feel about the look of it. It looks kind of weird with a super thin, like yeah, right it, there. it does look a little weird. But it's an, uh, an amazing system, and more on like practicality than looks for a performance basketball shoe, obviously. So um, we love it. We yeah. really, really love, I love it. it. And uh, shout out to Jordan Brand for this uh, innovation. This really shout out cool. to them for like just taking you know that into consideration to just like really do something different. Yeah, they said and try took, to improve. Yeah, they said it took a year and a half to make this. They've been working on it for a long time. Supposedly, they use some of the technology from the HyperAdapt, which has oh, the automatic lacing system. Really? Yeah. So they 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 implemented some of that design language over into this. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna so, be pulling this a lot. I'm gonna. Uh, pulling it and then ejecting and stuff and see how like if it breaks or like yeah. the durability how long will it last and that, that that might be an issue hopefully it's not but I, I, we're obviously going to test it anytime you add moving parts you know you're going to have a bit better bigger chance of one of those parts breaking so yes uh, so we'll see about that yeah you have this little uh, red part right here this plastic piece for uh, i guess it kind of acts like a it's where the outriggers usually is. Yeah, but, so it has a little stability there. Yeah, exactly. So it doesn't compress as much in the cushion right here. Mm -hmm. um, but anyways, let's move on to weight. These yeah. do feel a little heavy though. They said, uh, I was talking to one of the guys, God, I forget his name, one of the designers, head designers. Yeah, I was asking if it's lighter. Mm -hmm. And he said, yeah, you know what? It's, it's lighter Whoa. than last year's. Last year's was heavy as hell. Yeah. So um, anyways, this, I feel like it's going to be a little heavy though. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. What do you think? Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm no, I just looked. I just looked. <laughs> Yo, that's heavy, dude. That's heavy. Fifteen point seven ounces. That's, that's crazy. That's heavy. Do these feel heavy? What do mine weigh, though? Twenty. Twenty. <laughs> Twenty points over the dude. That's wow. that's more than a pound, man. On your yeah. foot. Does it feel heavy? Yes. Does it feel bulky? It feels a little bulky. Um, yeah. Especially like in the ankle area. The material is super thin, though. But I feel like. I don't know, they use a lot yeah, of Yeah, there's a lot going on here. In the in the ankle area, I yeah, think? Yeah, a lot. Know. Yeah. Maybe a little too much at times, Dude, for sure. that's heavy, man. Yeah. That's heavy. Yeah, I feel like Jordan should work on their weight. You know, work on like, lightening up their shoes a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but it does feel very responsive though. Don't get yeah. us wrong, like the, the cushion, the traction seems good, and the materials are supportive. But on foot, it, it is a little bulky and a little heavy feeling, so. Uh, not the most minimal feeling shoe. Uh, moving on to aesthetics. Um, yeah, when we first saw it in picture, we, in the pictures, we really didn't like it. Yeah. But in hand and on foot, it actually looks pretty dope. I like these. Yeah. I don't know. And, and some of the other colorways we saw are like actually really dope. That black one is sick. There's a almost full blackout. It's like a yeah. black cat colorway. Black cat, yeah. But I don't know. I, I, I put up an IG and you guys were kind of flaming them. No one really. But then we put it. like the black one up, and people seem to like that one. Yeah, it has so, the elephant print on it too, which is cool. I think some people are put off by it not having laces. Yeah, exactly. So. I, I, I kind of am too a little bit. Oh, there's a nice little touch on the tab thirty three. I didn't notice it, but Donny Boy did. Yeah, the, yeah the, the, one of the guys told me one of the designers. You put your thumb over here, and it's a thirty three. That's kind of cool. So these are releasing October eighteenth for one hundred seventy five bucks. They reduced the price from ten uh, by ten dollars from last year, which is dope. And I re really, really love this innovative uh, lacing system. Uh, give it a try, guys, when, once it comes out, because it times and it's really, really fast on your foot. Yeah, stick around for the review. We're going to really run everything else through its paces and make sure, uh, you know, how good it really is. Yes, of course. You know, maybe it's not the perfect shoe. Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe it'll be really, really dope. But we will give you our honest opinion. But anyway, tell us what you guys think of the Jordan 33. Do you guys like it? And do you guys think it'll perform? But that's it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next. Later. Peace.